It's the Golden Bears and the Dinos tonight. Obviously, it's been a great rivalry over the last few years. We need to be playing on our toes, and we will be playing on our toes. I mean, this is not a gimme weekend against the Calgary Dinos. They've, like we mentioned, been playing some good hockey since the new year, since the calendar turned to January. Okay, quick puck movement in all three zones. Relentless effort. We talked about it in the O zone. That's going to be a staple tonight. All right, moving forward. And we defend quickly. So it's not going to be a free pass on the bingo card for Alberta against their provincial rivals. And last piece, it's about accountability. Do your job, do it well, have fun doing it, all right? And enjoy this opportunity here for us to be a better team after tonight. Uh, certainly gives them an opportunity to kick things into high gear at a very important part of the season. You mentioned those two games against Saskatchewan looming large. Okay, six games left. We know that. Okay, tonight, it's not even about the first period, it's about your very first shift. What is it going to look like? Okay, what are you going to bring to the table and what are you going to be able to build off of? All right, boys. Lots of fun here tonight. Siemens versus Stanford in between the pipes. Golden Bears 2-0 against the Dinos. Now here's a shot versus the game. Siemens is down, rebounds it. And the Siemens will get the first test of this hockey game. Behind the goal, up front to Redick. Towards the Durko in there as well. Novorovsky will grab a big save. All right, boys, hey, that's going, that's going, hey. Come, come. Toppin, good job by Toppin getting back. Now a loose puck and they score. Dylan Walchuk tucks it home, winning a battle. Right to left, hey, we're all right. Dino strike go, first. Go, go. Okay, here's the loose Reddick. He's got to come out with Reddick. Hickmott denied by the sliding right pad. Nice try, yeah. Brooks with a shot and he scores! Jamie Brooks, a quick release, and he sneaks it through an unsuspecting Steven Stanford. That's it, boys, that's it, boys! Dow a ton of time, he'll let one fly and he scores! Dryden Dow answers back for the Dinos. We're in for a little bit of a barn burner. A goal here, Evan, would be huge for the Dinos to go up 3 1 in the first. Yedlowski fires a puck right into oh. Cruz Reddick. The oh. whistle, I, I thought I heard a whistle. Blow it! Cruz Reddick is leaking hard. I thought we heard a whistle. I yeah. thought the play stopped. Calgary takes advantage of basically what was a five on three. He's leaking hard, like I said, as he the took ice a is... puck right to the face. You're right, he's bleeding all over the place. Oh. <laughs> That's the most blood I've seen on the ice here in the six years that I've been doing games at Claire Drake. Here's Hickmont with Dobrowski trying to find him. Vicinius breaks that up, plays it in behind the goal. Oh, left coast Cooper hammers Jelski, gets the puck back to the point. Cruz Reddick is back, the captain. Wow. That's a big, big, big emotional boost for Alberta. Sends it towards the front of the net. Siemens, a big save. Takes a bump from Edwards. Reddick gives it to him now. Reddick staring him down. The bottom line, the Golden Bears need the next goal. Cooper against Collins behind the net. Cooper tries to wrap it around. Buck will come back to the right point. Jelski's on it there. Cooper took a run at him and they score. But Calgary takes a three goal lead. Shot through and they score. Jordan Hickmott in front. Tips it past Stanford into the back of the net. That's just what the doctor ordered. The Bears back down by two. You want to start off with one of those? Okay. Thirty seconds left in the man advantage. Over back down low to Ferguson across. They score. I think that was poked in. The Bears are within one. What a time to be alive at Claire Drake Arena. Period number three underway. That's just a fan Lego who pivots and picks up this puck. Comes back to Crook with a one timer and they score. Give me a shoelace. We're tied at Claire Drake. Crooks between the legs of Stanford. That's a heck of a play, boys.
Come on, boys, this is our game. That next goal is ours, eh? It's center, now it's going to be picked up by Franson. Brought in, trying to work around Bredo. He does. Franson still going. Siemens is down, and Franson scores. First shot of the period. Come on, boys, protect the house, protect the house. And Adair can't keep it in. Now an opportunity, flip towards the empty net. They score, putting it home. Danny Gale, two shots, two goals for the Dinos, and that's likely going to do it. What a weird third period. The next, the next night is even bigger now for the Golden Bears. This was a bit of a trap weekend for them. A three-hour bus ride down to Calgary to complete the home-and-home -home series with the Dinos might be just what the Golden Bears need. There's time to reflect on how they will get back in the win column, especially after now losing four of their past seven games since the calendar turned to 2016. That's what happens when every other team in the country is trying to stop you from winning a third consecutive national championship. Will the Bears bounce back and take a bite out of the dino dynamic that has seen them pick up points in six out of their last seven? Ross can hold it in on the right point. Big rebound off the end boards right onto the stick of Chris Collins. Shot, they score! Chris Collins and the Dinos lead it one to nothing. The Golden Bears find themselves in a deep hole after only 20 minutes, with Calgary leading 3-1. The team remains calm in the dressing room and an inspired comeback ties the game by the third period. However, the momentum doesn't last and the Dinos win again, dropping the Bears' record to 15-7-2. As the teams shake hands and wish one another well, and this could very well be the last time they see one another for this season, who knows what the playoffs will bring. When you really look at the true measure of, a, of an individual or of a team, it's, it's not where they, they stand in moments of comfort, but it's really who they are in, in troubled times and, and in those, those tough, challenging times. And I think uh, we've seen some tremendous character out of this group this year, uh, just because, um, you know, by all means, I think we're having a successful year, but our record just isn't showing it. The Bears have a week to prepare for a weekend series at home against the Saskatchewan Huskies the number one ranked team in the country, and it starts in a swimming pool. So every second week we have the pool booked, and what, uh, what that is is we tried it the one year and it did work well, and the, the idea originally behind it was that you get in there and you can still do some pretty good conditioning without being very hard on the body. Players win games, coaches win practices, and, and it's truly a partnership. Serge Lajoie, a coach who prides himself in attention to detail, believes that hard work combined with approaching the game the right way leads to rewards on and off the ice. Whether it's the first shift or the first drill, he demands the very best. Off the ice, it's team trainer Joel Jackson who takes care of each player's physical health. Each Golden Bear has their own specifically designed workout plan to maximize their potential. When you look at their fitness testing results and uh, just what they're like on the ice when they're coming in and getting different aspects of what they want to work on, what the coach need, thinks they need to be better at, what I think they need to be better at, and kind of trying to uh, find some time to mold that into a program and get them working on the correct thing. As far on a whole, when you put in all the different things that we do test, when you look at their aerobic fitness, uh, their anaerobic fitness, their strength, their lower body power, hockey players are some of the better fit athletes out there uh, that I see on this team anyway. Dusty, what are we doing here? 
So kind of like Ferns drill. Yeah. The University of Alberta is home to the most successful hockey team in the country with 15 national titles. They've won five out of the past 11 championships. Impressive to say the least. Yeah, I just really wanted to win and I thought that there was no better chance to do that than at the University of Alberta. Ask any Golden Bear why they joined the program and they all say the same thing. Not only are they entering a winning culture, but when they graduate, hockey doesn't have to end. You know, first and foremost, my goal is uh, to focus on this year and, and uh, the finish here, but after that, it's, uh, it's my goal to play professional hockey. I try my hardest, like all of our seven graduating guys this year, I'm working very hard to get them pro contracts either in Europe or North America. So that's kind of part of what I do as GM. Marple's connections to the pro hockey world run deep after a successful career as a player, coach and manager in Europe. Today, almost all of the team's roster comes from the WHL as Marple and Coach Lejoie recruit the best talent that's available. A degree from top university and potential to keep playing afterwards make for a good pitch. Yeah, we take a lot of time and to make sure that we're, you know, we're properly recruiting the right guys for the program and that they have the ability to play at this level and do well. You know, the WHL isn't the only route, uh, but right now it makes the most sense and that's where most of the, the skilled players are that aren't either gone NCAA or gone pro. Most of the teammates live together, and in this particular house, minutes from Claire Drake Arena, there's five of them. We're heading up Costco tomorrow for a grocery run. As you can see, we definitely need it. It's mostly just condiments in there. Uh, we need to get some snacks for Dauber. Uh, definitely in need of a grocery run tomorrow. It's fun. Uh, Never a dull moment in that house, so uh, passes the time pretty good. Joel, I think I'm getting better at wrapping these things. As per tradition, the house frequently welcomes all the other players as it's the designated headquarters. It's also the place to be on Monday night. There's my girl, Olivia. The Bachelor has been a part of our Monday night routines ever since I can remember, ever since we've lived together. Every Monday night, we, uh, we sit down, we watch The Bachelor. We, uh, we get it recorded so that we wait till about half hour, 40 minutes into the show so that we can um, watch without watching commercials. And uh, you're gonna be a human highlight reel on this. <laughs> mic'd up package. The Bears are as close knit as you can imagine. A byproduct of either living together or nearby one another, taking the same classes, or spending six days a week at the rink with each other. I think it's a pretty easy going team. Everybody likes to have fun and it's part of the reason why everyone likes playing here. It's just because as much as we, we know we need to work hard, we know it's important to have fun as well. And I consider myself maybe one of the guys that definitely likes to laugh and, and make jokes all the time. I got you on the mic saying you're the best. Scoring 50 this year. <laughs> you guys are pretty stupid. Take it, Christian. Oh, that's, we're going five on three there. They shouldn't have got tripped, Kirksey. Yeah. Yeah, Ferks, Ferks. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's at 50 goals in 28 games right there. Here you come, you're just part of the team right away. You know, I'm, I'm good friends with the first year guys, you know, just as good as friends with any other guy. So, you know, it's just a band of brothers and, you know, I'll be friends for life. Coming in here, Dad. Oh, you're, you're going? Okay, Tracy's. Yeah, your breath always stinks, eh? <laughs> What's for dinner tonight, bud? For dinner? Mm hmm. What? Wings tonight, man. Wings? Wednesday. It's Wing Wednesday. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa! Bruce, right here, I got it. Oh, you scuffs, <laughs> Whoa! Why'd I miss that? I didn't want to run you over on camera. Of course, with the crucial matchup against the rival Huskies only days away, the players know what's at stake this weekend. First place is now out of reach, but jumping from third to second place would give them a first round bye in the playoffs and home ice for the semis. Dump it into the corner, pop it back, hit the D up top. Second one, you bump it behind the net. Yeah, deep, 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 deep.
A video session to break down the opponent's strategies follows up today's practice. The details are essential, especially when considering the opponent has a 21-3 record for the season. The Bears, the back-to-back -back CIS national champions, are coming in as the underdogs. We find ourselves in a situation that we've created where we're not in um, thinking of in the eyes of many Canadians that follow university hockey. We're not the Bears of old. And I beg to differ. It is a little odd, though, to talk about a Bears team that at this time of the year is in third place in Canada West and has lost five of their last uh, eight games. I mean, it's, it's different, you know, being the underdog here, I guess, this weekend, you could say. Uh, we're, our team's definitely looking forward to it. We're trying to, you know, prove people wrong. You know, we, we, we respect each other. You know, two good teams going at it, but well, we definitely don't like each other. Here we go! This is going to be a feisty weekend, yeah. Connor. You can sense it already between these two teams. The Bears get an opportunity. It's taken to the net, and it's Keezer. And Jordan Cook keeps the right pad down. Bears go giveaway here, and here's Roach, and he shoots, and a good save by Siemens. Stefan Legault now gets it. He was looking for Ferguson, who gets rocked by McVeigh. Ferguson to Crook, shoots up high on Cook, who fights the rebound off and eventually gets it. Uh, so more rough stuff in front of it. Did a good job in that first period, but we know we have more, okay? And let's tap into the, those mental skills, mental toughness, because that's what it's gonna take today. They're gonna try to get us off our game. In the second period between Alberta and Saskatchewan. A rivalry for the ages between these two teams by McFall, who gets bodied by Coper. They activate from the point, Bears couldn't find him. Here's a shot and a goal! Jaden Hart, seeing eye shot. Looks like Legault once again in the thick of things. It's a little spark plug for this Golden Bears team. Some rough stuff in front of the Alberta net. As Siemens gets yeah. in on the action, his helmet gets pulled off. Somehow, the Punch glass gets yeah. broken. Looks like the fans are getting a little rowdy. As we'll sort things out here at Claro Drake Arena, a wild sequence of events there. Here's Reddick now. Cross ice to rally, plays it off his skate to his stick. Soft shot and a score! Wow, that is almost identical to the Bears' first one, and it's Jordan Rowley. As now McFall roughing it up with Stefan Legault, and there's no love lost between the Huskies and the Golden Bears. Switch with Reddick. Setting up the one timer, here's a shot, and it's in! And you can see that one coming from a mile away. The three-peat hasn't been accomplished since the late 70s in Canadian university hockey. To make history, the Golden Bears are going to have to win a couple more games like this one. Each player has a target on their back, and that's simply because of the crest on their front. It was like the, the most unbelievable feeling I've ever had that first time we won it, and then winning it again last year was was surreal as well. I mean, I just uh, just thinking back on it kind of gives me the goosebumps a little bit. Winning championship with your best friends is something you'll never forget. Uh, especially winning twice, you just look at those guys and you just instantly remember what you've been through. Um, so I, th I mean, just having good friends. Having winning championships, those are two things that are lifelong memories. You know, you get that taste right away and just makes you want it even more going for in second year and for years to come. Brooks 
Just couldn't get enough on it there. Here's Carter in the middle of the ice. Now to Ferguson. He goes cross ice to Bredo all sorts of time. Bredo finds Legault, and he makes no mistake. A tremendous weekend for the Golden Bears as they get a sweep. And they make next weekend against Mount Royal interesting. Second place will be on the line, and that's all she wrote here.